Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this OnePlus 3 and I also have some of their official cases. So actually there is one more variant. Uh, let's keep these things to the side and let's look at this device itself. So this is the OnePlus 3. Uh, let me just take out the seal and this is the first time and I'm also going to have a look at this device. Uh, it just says one plus three very spartan uh, nothing is mentioned on the box as you can see let me just give you a close-up look it just does not specify the specs it comes with the snapdragon 820 chipset and this is the 64 gigabyte uh, variant that we are getting and i believe this comes with six gigabytes of uh, ram and regarding the pricing the price quoted on the box is 27,999 but i'll have the exact price in the youtube show notes so let's quickly just open this up and let me just shake this and it just slides so really excited for this one so this is the one plus uh, uh, three itself that we are getting and again uh one plus uh, packaging is really nice so uh, again it's metallic uh, and it says that notice so place your sim in the sim card tray so it's a dual sim device again guys so that's nice i'll just remove this one i'll just keep it here for reference and again it's metallic and i have to say it resembles one of the older htc devices from the back and uh, looks beautiful um, again it's this is not a physical button it's sort of a capacitive type button and uh, strangely the uh, screen card sort of is applied to this device which is surprising and uh, you can peel it off if you want but uh, screen guard is pre-applied to this device and again guys this is a review unit so i don't know if that will be the same on the retail unit but the box was sealed so it looks like this would be e even with the retail unit so let's open this up and we have some paperwork and uh, again i like the presentation so it says quick start guide and the sim ejector tool that we have and uh, we also get some uh, oneplus stickers uh, user guide that we have so it's in english basic stuff and quick start guide also that gives you a basic idea about the device so that's what we get so let me keep these things to the side and it just says three over here so let's just slide away and uh, uh, we have a letter from the founder that is Carl and it says three over here and this is the charger uh, let me see uh, if it's a quick charger uh, yes it's a special type of quick charger because it says output is at 5 volts and at 4 amps so this is really special and it says dash over here so it'll be really interesting to see how quick this charges we also get this uh, USB Type-C cable and the quality actually looks to be really good. And regarding this new charger, it's very interesting. I did test it. OnePlus calls it the Dash Charger. And I feel it's even quicker than the uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3. And the best thing was that the handset was not heating when I was using this uh, Dash Charger. So here is the phone itself. Let me give you a physical overview first, guys. And again, the back is metallic and uh, we have nothing on the top that is interesting uh, we have the uh, your sim cards will go over here we have the hole for that and looks like the power on off button and on the bottom we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack the usb c type port opening for the speaker and volume rockers and this is the alert slider so we have the alert si slider and i really like that feature so nice to see that we have that and it's having a 5.5 inch screen that's a super amulet screen so it looks really nice let me try to boot it up i hope it has some charge give me haptic feedback and again uh, looks like we have uh, two touch type capacitive buttons and it's going to run on the latest version of oxygen os so the animation looks to be a little bit different as you can see and i really like the weight distribution of this device i was not that happy with the oneplus 2 but this neither feels very heavy nor very light initial impressions uh the build quality is amazing it looks top notch i have to say uh, just like a premium handset and let me quickly just set this up and we'll continue 
The OnePlus 3 is powered by the Snapdragon 820 chipset. It has 6 gigabytes of RAM, that's DDR4, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. It has a 5.5 inch AMOLED screen, which is a 1080p screen. It also supports dash quick charging, fingerprint scanner, dual SIM, nano SIMs. Moving to the camera, it has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with optical image stabilization and a f2.0 lens. Moving to the front facing camera, it's an 8 megapixel shooter. It is powered by Oxygen OS. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. It also has Gorilla Glass 4 and NFC. And this is the fingerprint setup, guys. This is the fingerprint. You just tap on it. It's not a home button. It's just a capacitive type button, just like the uh, OnePlus 2. So fingerprint has been set and you can add more fingerprints also. So that's a nice option. Let me quickly just set this up and then we'll continue. So the basic setup was done now uh, for the OnePlus setup. And again, it has the option of using software buttons or the physical buttons. By default, it's on the physical buttons. We can change that from the settings. So that option is there. And we have the double tap to wake option and uh, these gestures that we actually had with earlier OnePlus devices. So nice to see that they are still there. So we can enable those. So I won't uh, enable it and the setup is done. So we are greeted. This is the first boot for the device guys. And uh, let me actually try to change the wallpaper. Use a dark theme wallpaper. Nothing that dark, <laughs> everything is really vibrant. Because it's an AMOLED screen, just wanted to check that. So anyways, let's just look at the settings. And again, uh, we already found a new oxygen uh, update. Uh, so that's <laughs> nice. So let's just go to the settings again. And if you go to about the device, as you can see, it's running on the Android version 6.0.1. That's Marshmallow. Out of the box, we get that. And this is back. So let's look at the storage also. And if I can find that, yes. And uh, out of that 64 gigabytes, uh, we get a free space of about 52.66 gigabytes. That's actually available to uh, you. So again, uh, no SD card guys. So that's what you get, but, that's, but memory is interesting. And as you can see, this one has six gigabytes of memory. And out of uh, that, we have about 4.5 gigabytes of RAM that is free to us. So again, RAM uh, management, uh, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. It's having a six gigabytes of RAM. So again, very stock uh, Android experience, apart from minor modifications that come with Oxygen OS. So that is interesting. And uh, we have this shelf on the left. So that's still there. So that's nice. And again, Google Apps are preloaded. So let's fire up the camera. And uh, let's see, again, the camera interface is really Spartan. We have that tap to focus. And after it focused, uh, it took the snaps pretty quickly. Let's look at it. So here are some of the sample shots that I took in indoor lighting conditions. I won't say it's excellent, but sort of okay in my opinion. In outdoor conditions, yes, I feel it does a lot better, but uh, focusing can be issue with the macro shots. Again, I have to test the camera a lot more. So guys, that's it for now for this unboxing and first look at this OnePlus 3. Initial impressions, I have to say, are sort of positive. I've been using this device now for a couple of days, so I'll be posting a FAQ video frequently asked questions so if you have any questions regarding this device do post them in the youtube comments below and i'll try to include them thanks for watching this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video